y'all good old country gravy biscuits going down this morning. Got some southern hash browns in the skillet back here. Biscuits are in the oven. Sausage, halfway done over here. I was gonna go cook this all on the Blackstone, but I was gonna use the skillets anyway for the sausage, for the, you know, sausage and gravy and for the eggs, so I just decided to cook it in here. I wanted shredded hash browns this morning and I thought I had some in the freezer, but we must have already went through all those because I couldn't find them. Check the deep freezer too and didn't see them in there, but they, they could be down at the bottom of the deep freezer. Putting some onion back here and then I'm just gonna put some salt and pepper. All right, sausage is done. I'm not gonna remove it from the pan this time. Most of the time I take it out because I just, I feel like I get a smoother gravy by taking it out, but you can still get it smooth by leaving it in. So I just put in about three tablespoons of flour. I'm gonna cook the sausage in that. I need one more. And I'm gonna put in a couple of tablespoons of butter. When that butter melts, we'll start adding in the milk. The reason I originally started taking the sausage out is because when, I think it was Jonah, when he was little, he didn't like the sausage in his gravy. Might have been even more than one of the kids. Sissy might have been that way too. <laughs> they didn't like the sausage pieces in their gravy. They just liked the gravy and the biscuits. And so I would take the sausage out, make the gravy, get their gravy out, and then, I have to set a timer so I don't forget about my biscuits. Then I would put the sausage back in for everybody else. And I just liked the way the gravy turned out better that way. So that's why I started doing that. Biscuits, stir the potatoes. Turn my heat back up just a little. And that's probably gonna be enough milk, I think. We'll see. Put in a little salt and some pepper. Everybody likes the sausage in their gravy now, by the way. They eventually come around. <laughs> lunch break and Jonah has made a masterpiece sandwich over here. Check it out. The little toothpick with the olive and all. What do we got? Bologna, cheese, lettuce, and mayonnaise? Yeah. Looks good. We should have put you on lunch duty. You could have just made a big old sandwich platter. It's raining again. Yeah. I made myself, well I didn't really make it. It was still left over from this morning. I just heated up some more coffee. And me and Manly came out here to sit on the porch while the kids are finishing up their schoolwork. This is normally, well usually he'd be taking his nap right now, but he's not sleepy today. He did lay there for about 25 minutes, but he just couldn't fall asleep. Christmas excitement, that's what it is. We still wanted to come outside, didn't we? Even though we can't really do anything because it's raining. Footprint. You're making footprints? So it looks rainy and cold, like it almost looks like it could be a snowy winter day, but it's actually pretty warm. I had to turn the air on earlier because it was getting really hot inside. Weather's crazy, ain't it, Manny? Everybody complains about the yeah, weather, but nobody does anything about it. Quick. That's what they say on the Andy Griffith Show. So it's Thursday, but tonight is gonna be pizza night for the kids. One of Titus's customers asked us to come and eat at his restaurant. So we're gonna go eat there, and then we're gonna go do a little bit of Christmas shopping. Since we're gonna be Christmas shopping, they're gonna watch a Christmas movie and have pizzas. We watched Horse Crazy last Friday for movie night, 
and it's not really it's at Christmas time but it's not really a Christmassy movie it's just like they mentioned that they're on Christmas break and stuff like that I'm trying to think of one for the kids tonight and one for movie night tomorrow the Friday before last we watched Jingle All the Way 2 and that one is on YouTube for free I'll link it down below for y'all oh yeah some of y'all told me about the Christmas Plus app I need to see I know that you can get it on Roku and we have that in our bedroom but I don't know if our TV in the living room will do it that TV's crazy it really is when we go back in I'll show y'all so you don't get it <laughs> but y'all said that there's a lot of good christmas movies on that christmas plus app rainy day. yep another rainy day okay y'all i'm gonna see if i can get this christmas plus thing on this tv it is a vizio let me warn you i probably should have warned y'all this before any of the black friday and cyber monday sales i'm not sure these were on any of those sales anyway though but uh this tv is crazy like there are certain times that it will not come on you have to, it's almost like it has to warm up or something. I don't know. Uh, sometimes some of the apps, it'll get hung in one of the apps, like completely hung there and won't leave. We've changed the batteries in the remote, so it's not that. Okay, let's go up here to search and let's see if they have Christmas Plus. Christmas, it's gonna pull up Christmas movies. Okay, wait, it's doing something weird. Smartcast is loading, we'll be right back. We're working behind the scenes to bring together your movie shows and apps. Please stand by y'all. It can stay here for 30 minutes. Well, at least it's giving y'all an example of its weirdness. See, I'm pressing home and everything, nothing. I'm thinking that we're going to switch this TV to mine and Titus's room and bring our TV in here because it doesn't have these issues and they're about the same size. Yeah, I just wanted to warn y'all and apparently a lot of people have the same problem because if you type in Vizio on YouTube, right whenever you type in Vizio, it starts pulling up Vizio screen is black, Vizio screen won't turn on. So yeah, beware of the Vizio. <laughs> Oh yeah, Tyler just reminded me, if it does this, all you have to do is unplug it and let it stay unplugged for like five to 10 minutes. And then when you plug it back in, it'll be fine. So it's all good, but we're for sure gonna switch these out because we don't watch that much TV in our bedroom. I mean, not a lot. So it would be best to have that TV in here and this weird one in there. to the world and then that cute little reindeer one says Noel. Those are cute. They have their pajamas here at Big Lots. Buy one, get one 50% off. Gingerbread houses, buy two, get one free. We already did gingerbread night. We should've came here. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Your horse is gonna need four sheep. As far as I can see. I feel like I need to go get my eyes checked, but I just did an eye exam right here at Big Lot. I don't need glasses. <laughs> Y'all ready? It's time for the first book in the Christmas box. Who's gonna open it? All right. <gasps> a reindeer. A reindeer one. A reindeer one. Don't be angry. Don't be angry. <laughs> Does he look angry? Uh-huh. Angry, happy, angry, happy. The Grumpy Reindeer. Ever since Ronnie Bloody. was a little calf, he'd been one grouchy reindeer. He doesn't play with the other reindeer when they invite him out into the snow. But how could he be so grumpy when it's the most wonderful time of year? If you are kind and cheerful to others, they will treat you the same. At last, Ronnie saw what being kind could do. Ronnie's frown turned upside down, and he became the happiest reindeer of all. 